Hi there, Marco Tempest here with a brand new magic trick I've been working on. Now the type of magic I like uses technology to create illusions. And I prepared these three iPods to show you what I mean. I'm going to use them to tell you a little bit about my favorite subject, deception. One of my favorite magicians is Carl Germain. He had this wonderful trick where a rose bush bloomed right in front of your eyes. But it was his production of a butterfly that was the most beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, the creation of light. When asked about deception, he said this. Magic is the only honest profession. A magician promises to deceive you, and he does. I like to think of myself as an honest magician. I use a lot of tricks, which means that sometimes I have to lie to you. I feel bad about that, but people lie every day. Hey, where are you? I'm stuck in traffic. I'll be there soon. You've all done it. I'll be ready in just a minute, darling. It's just what I've always wanted. You were great! Deception. It's a fundamental part of life. Polls show that men tell twice as many lies as women. Assuming the woman they ask told the <laughs> truth. We deceive to gain advantage and to hide our weaknesses. The Chinese general Shun Tzu said that all war was based on deception. Oscar Wilde said the same thing of romance. Some people deceive for money. Now let's play a game. Three cards, three chances. One five will get you ten, ten will get you twenty. Now, where's the lady? Where is the queen? This one? Sorry, you lose. <laughs> well, I didn't deceive you. You deceived yourself. Self-deception. That's when we convince ourselves that a lie is a truth. Sometimes it's hard to tell the two apart. Compulsive gamblers are experts in self-deception. They believe they can win. They forget the times they lose. The brain is very good at forgetting. Bad experiences are quickly forgotten. Bad experiences quickly disappear. Which is why in this vast and lonely cosmos, we are so wonderfully optimistic. Our self-deception become positive illusions, why movies are able to take us onto extraordinary adventures, why we believe Romeo when he says he loves Juliet, and why single notes of music, when played together, become a sonata and conjure up meaning. That's Claire de Lune. Its composer Claude Debussy said that art was the greatest deception of all. Art is a deception that creates real emotions, a lie that creates a truth. And when you give yourself over to that deception, it becomes magic. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around.